Now, Action SA will launch its manifesto at Old Park Station in Newtown today. The party is promising to deliver immediate innovative and resident-focused change to the Gauteng metros of Johannesburg, Tswane, Eguruleni and the cities of Eteguini, Newcastle, Kwaduguza and KwaZulu-Natal. Let's cross now to SABC News reporter Ntlantla Khatlane for more. Ntlantla, good morning. So it's uh, all happening quite uh, thick and fast at the moment as uh, the various political parties gear up to contest the November 1st poll. Let's talk about today's uh, launch, though, uh, for Action SA and what's to be expected. Yes, well, indeed. Good morning, Sakina. Coming to you right here from Old Park Station in Newtown, where Herman Mashaba, the leader of Action SA, is said to uh, deliver the party's manifesto. If you remember, this uh, political party was formed uh, last year, and that's when they made their intentions clear that come 2021, they will be contesting elections uh, uh, when the time comes. You know that the elections are going to take place on the 1st of November. And we've seen, like you've said already, uh, political parties, you know, crisscrossing their country, trying to garner support under this pandemic. But with me, who's going to talk to us with regards to what's going to be happening here is Action SA spokesperson, uh, Leratong Gobeni, who's going to tell us about what's going to be happening today. Thank you so much, Sisi, for your time. Um, today, you guys, are finally launching your manifesto. Um, since your formation, um, just talk to us with regards to how have South Africans received you? Thank you so much and good morning to South Africans. Um, South Africans have been so, so receptive. I mean, I don't know if it's the color green uh, that makes us, you know, people are very, very open to us. We crisscrossed, you know, the nation. We've gone from Cape Town all the way through to Limpopo, even though we're not contesting there. But we've had a really, really good reception from South Africans and we're very encouraged and by that. Uh, we know that you guys are going to be, you know, uh, putting down your blueprint, your plan in terms of how you're going to uh, change the lives of South Africans. And we know that there's always been rhetoric with regards to, you know, changing people's lives. What are you going to offer South Africans, uh, uh, which is different from what other, uh, you know, political formations are putting on the table? You know, you're asking me to preempt <laughs> what we're going to deliver today. Uh, but what I can promise South Africans is that we've got a great group of people who are running in those municipalities. We've got Mr. Herman Mashaba, who's the leader of our party, running to be the mayor again of the city of Johannesburg. We've got um, Dr. Marcosi Koza, who you know also has been a very ethical person. And that's what we're bringing to the table. I think that that's, goes without saying that South Africa needs more than anything ethical leaders. And that's what we're going to pump into all of these municipalities and everything else will flow from there. I'm really trying very hard not to give away uh, what the president will deliver today. But South Africans, by the end of today, will know exactly what we're going to do in these communities. But you know, the question that comes to my mind is, why should South Africans trust what you're saying or what you're going to say here today? You know, it's very difficult and we have a very large mountain to climb uh, because South Africans have been so hurt by what has happened in the last couple of years. And so for us is to say, you know, what South Africans need to know is that we're a party that is not afraid uh, to go in and do what we need to do. And so if we don't deliver that, and Mr. Mashaba will tell them later, if we don't do it, they've got a couple of years to get us out. What is important is that we are people, ordinary South Africans who come from all different walks of life and not just politicians. So we're not in this for, for that. The stakes are very high for South Africans at the moment. And we are promising South Africans that everywhere we govern, given the track record of the people who are going to be uh, uh, manning our offices, manning those municipalities, just given that track record, South Africans can believe that we have men and women of great character who we're wanting to field in those municipalities. In 2016 local government elections, we saw a coalition, you know, politics, coalition governance come into play. And we heard you guys before saying that you can work with everybody except the ANC. What if you're in a position whereby the ANC is there to talk to you and say that let's govern the city and make change and deliver to the people? Look, I think uh, our president has been very clear on that one. Uh, we definitely will not govern with the ANC. Uh, we, you know, when you... There's a saying that goes, if you lie with dogs, you, might, you may rise with fleas. And we want to protect ourselves and South Africans from that. And so we will work with ev absolutely every other political party who's, who's got the interest of South Africans at heart. We have seen the wranglings in the, in the current ruling party. The South Africans, there can be no doubt anymore that South Africans know 
that the African National Congress just does not have the best interests of our communities at heart anymore. And so we will not work with them, absolutely under no conditions. Well, last question from us is that... Um uh, where are you guys going to be contesting? Just take us to that. Mm -hmm. We will be contesting in six municipalities. We'll be contesting here in Johannesburg, Swane, Eguruleni, uh, Etequini, Kwatuguza, and Newcastle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there you go, Sakina, Action SA spokesperson, you know, um, <laughs> emphasizing again that if post um, November the 1st, if, you know, they get voted, um, they would never find themselves, you know, sitting down with the governing party and, and talking to them with regards to governing, saying that, you know, they will never find themselves, uh, you know, co-governing with the ANC. With that being said, uh, it's back to you in studio. Well, thank you so much, Ntlanta Khatane. Following that story for us, the manifesto launch of Action SA today.